Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of You Know What It Is Austria! Where we again get to play with our lovely Austrians and the really love for Rebellions. I mean, don't we just all love the fact this is Rebellionville? And. And other stuff like that. But, anyways, guys. I'm back here with this episode, just trying to do the best I can, uh, and trying to advance, like, whatever we can do into this war, but we have to get this stupid rebel, we, at first we have to get this stupid rebel problem underneath our control. Okay, I'm not entering in this crisis. <laughs> oh wait, I can't enter in this crisis because I'm at war! Ah! Oh, Venencia. Um... You know, if Venencia tries to free itself, I'm just gonna go in and go conquer it again. It's not... It should realize... It should realize that I'm just not gonna let that fly, so... But, yeah, we have to really get this rebel problem underneath our control. Um, I think we now have it mostly underneath our control. We just have a couple little tiny regions that really still want to be... Um, free. Venencia and Hungary are the two biggest contenders right now. They are annoying me to no end. I don't even know why the Jacobson Rebels are revolting against me because I am technically a Jacobson right now. So, it... They didn't really... Let's just say this. They didn't really do much about the uh, freedom of speech. And I'm just not going to deal with that, guys. I'm just going to wait until they free themselves. Oh, the Serbia. This is exactly why... And this is exactly why I hate Serbia in this game. Because they start to cause me rebel problems. No matter how much I try, no matter how much I hope and try to pray that they won't do it, they usually do it. So, let's see. Um, too many rebellions right now to really count. The Banty, I mean, I have really just tons and tons of rebellions. Just not, they, rebellions are just not relenting right now. It's really stunning, no. No, 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 no. I'm just going to let them become free. Okay, I'm just going to let v Venice become free, and I'm going to go take them back over. Okay, I think that would be the much quicker option than to try to go to war with them. Okay, or to try to fight all those rebels. Besides, it, it'd be really easy to take down Venice. It's just... Gosh, man, this is like taking forever. Let's just get these guys underneath our control. No, and you guys, go finally go kill off Krakow, because apparently Krakow is... We're at war with them, and that's actually causing us lots of instability. Even though it's a little country, it's causing us a ton of instability. Let's go, let's go, and there we go. Yeah, just go take over that little country. Okay, Venice. Take over Venice, please. You guys are taking over everything but Venice. Please take over Venice. You guys don't need to destroy my land. Like, seriously, just take over Venice and we'll be cool. We'll be really cool. I mean, if you guys don't take over Venice, I'm just going to, like, White Peace Netherlands, yay! Okay, new no, guys, new. No. We're not going to go attack them. We are not going to go take them over, or play to their level, I should say. Alright, we got some more better levels for our ships, which are going to be good. That means now we can have better better like colonial range which is really going to be good let's upgrade that and then let's also move on to some stock exchanges why do we need stock exchanges because they're really good well, actually it'd be probably better if we move on to fundamentalism because that'll be a little bit better technology you guys do you want to annex yes I annex Krakow everyone it was the proudest moment of my life in fact no other moment can go about or go about in history as the moment where the Austrians annex Krakow. And that is exactly why I never like Romania. Okay? Well, right now, all these nationalists are moving up into my country. I need to start sorting them by, by who's the most powerful. I wish there was a sorting button to see who was the most powerful. Right now, the Venetians are the ones that are really aggro aggravating me. Um, in fact, they're not taking over Venice, which is really starting to aggravate me to the point where I'm actually, I'm actually sick of it. I'm gonna go send you guys to go destroy all these guys down here, and then, 
Yeah, you guys go destroy these guys, because they're kind of annoying me now. Like, they should have already... They, this is stupid. They conquer everything but Venice. Who does that? Like, honestly, who does that? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let's go crush these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, my army should be way more powerful than theirs, so it should not even be a competition. We have two armies, a Bohemian Nationalist. Okay, we just, I think we just crushed the biggest contender. Alright, yeah, they're not, now they're not going to free themselves because now I have a bigger army than they do. And I need to honestly keep building a bigger army actually now that I think about it. So keep building a bigger army because the more army you have, the more likely they're not going to rebel against you. But the more rebellions or more people they think they have than you, the more they are likely to rebel against you. That's the kind of general rule of this. Okay, let's D, let's D, uh, switch up again, and let's reconquer all my land. Alright, I hope the other guys are also squashing whatever I need them to squash. Yeah, they're squashing everything. Good, they're gonna instantly kill those guys. I'm gonna go right there, kill those guys, and go right there, kill those guys. And let's see, do we still have our causes bell alive? Because I'm pretty sure we... Hmm, alright. Let's see, how much longer do we have our causes bell eye for? Expires September 2nd, expires in one day, wow. Okay, so, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to the Egyptian, the Egyptian, I, I, I just, I think I'm dealing with way too much as it is just trying to deal with, hmm. Yeah, I, I think we can always come after Egypt at a later date, but I just, we need to deal with the rest of this. Like, it's sad for me to say, but we need to deal with the rest of this, and then once we can deal with this, once we finally have some stability in this land, then we can finally just relax and, you know, just make some coffee or something. Seriously, we have to deal with all the stability. Um, The good thing, though, is, is I'll probably be able to declare war on... um on Romania for the fact that they got me some Romanian rebels yeah this is exactly why I hate you Romania it's because you guys get spawn rebels in my country okay the Ottomans are really just in a very unstable oh my goodness Greek Patriots the Ottomans right now are in a very unstable or in a very unstable world and the Greeks are taking advantage of this they are becoming a major power in the uh, Balkans area. They're just taking advantage of this hardcore wise. The Ottomans released Macedonia. Oh my goodness. I mean, the Ottomans just can't keep control of their land. And they're slowly being ripped apart. Slowly but surely. Almost everywhere. Alright. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet where I can actually see what everyone wants. Let's see. Um... Let's see. You guys all want unions. I'm sorry. I'm not going to give you that. <laughs> I'm not that nice, people. I'm not that nice. I'm sorry, but you guys aren't getting those. You guys aren't getting those free trade unions for any non-socialist power. All right. But while we're also on the subject, go send all my army over here, and we're finally gonna go invade some things. I'm, I'm finally, I'm finally ready to go take up all my pent-up rage with all this uh, non-expansionist, and finally ready to go kick back and go kill them. All right. Now we got, now we got Cardinal of Spain underneath our control again. Let me make sure that the other guy is also in our control. Yes, you guys are going to be allied with us, by the way. Okay, now we can just go back to just a little bit of percentage. Let's finally get Brazil underneath our control, just so that they're so close. Let's just gain them underneath our control, and then we'll start dealing with some other stuff. Because that means our sphere of influence is now increased. Somebody just revolted. It better not have been you. Good. It wasn't you. But Cuba formed. Like I said, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Alright. Um, I will prevent natural naturalization because actually that does actually help me out. Because then people will be explaining things a little bit better. We have our soldiers moving up. Um, come on, soldiers, go! Can we, I don't, can we handle it? Yes, we can! We can handle five speed right now. Alright, you guys want an alliance? Sure, I'll totally give you guys an alliance. Alright, everyone get to the borders. We're gonna go deal with these stupid Romanians. Make them officially, well, not officially, but subsequently a part of our empire. 
Alright. Tax reform! Yay! I love tax reform. Alright. Romania. Bye bye. Doom boom. Alright. Alright. Let's go do right here. Let's go right here. And let's go right there. That should be this shouldn't they shouldn't have much right now. And since Russia's not gonna back them up, I should be pretty fine. And there's our Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Uh, it's good to have you in the Empire, man. Okay, it seems like there's a couple big swaps out right now. Seems like... Um, seems like Bavaria is not a great power right now. But what rank are they? The 18th. So it would actually be a very good idea to invest in Bavaria. Because since they're not a great power, we should actually have them as our friend. Because as you know, Bavaria saved our life a couple times. And we can never, ever, ever forget that. <laughs> Alright, let's just go invade though. Alright. And... I think we're not going to be able to catch up to them. But we don't really need to be paying attention to their army because their army's kind of really bad. And apparently they keep releasing more and more things. Um, they keep releasing this nation called Macedonia. Um, and the Greek Patriots are just taking over. Gosh. Wow. Uh, this is this is possibly the end of the Ottomans. I mean, we might see we might even see Turkey form. That's how much this is the end of the Ottomans. Okay, let's go send two armies to go deal with the uh, Romanians army per se. I should say it's not really an army. It's more of just a ragtag group of troops. I'm pretty sure. Um, they have two. They have about three k in terms of cannons. We have about three k. Um, we're even right now, but with the two armies combining, we should be able to just mash them. Okay, you guys move right there. Yeah, we're not gonna... No, you guys aren't gonna go away that easily. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pretty... There we go. We're gonna engage right there, get our second army right there. Um, wow. Okay, yeah, we need to definitely start upgrading our men. I think we're now to the point where it's unacceptable to have, like, you know, the type of men we have. So, yeah, we're going to have to switch that up quickly. E Luckily, we have all these guys here to swap them. So, let's see. How many do we need? Can we get rid of? Let's get rid of one, two, three, four. Four of these guys. Do -do -do. Delete them. Yeah, let's make sure we delete the ones that are kind of dead we can't because most of them are actually pretty good so one two three let's go delete these guys delete them move these guys in to go become that units really good stuff and then you guys go right there Whew. all right the first invasion use propaganda like i said we are truly and utterly an empire all right and we can actually decrease our Mm, our taxes by a lot. Um, forty-five is why I want to keep it for a little bit until until I can support about a seventy-five, seventy-five um, education rate at a pretty good level, and about an eighty. Let's try an eighty-five. No, just eighty percent. Yeah, eighty percent uh, funding of our military. Rejoice! An heir is born! Yay! I didn't even know we were having baby troubles. <laughs> Macedonia, what are you releasing to the Macedonians at this point? They have everything they want. Okay, I, I feel like you're getting gypped now, Austria, like, I mean, Austria, Ottomans. You feel like, I feel like you guys are just, like, losing everything to them. Like, it's, they're not even, like, considering, just like, we want land! And they're like, you're like, okay. And the uh, Greeks are like, sweet, bro, we got more land. Okay, seems like they're moving somewhere. I don't know what they're doing. We're about to win, though. It's going to be... Yeah, there we go. There's a peace offer. And voila! So now Romania is now officially a part of our empire, which means they should be less likely to um, give me those stupid Greek transaction thingies. You know, those events I really don't like. So that's really good. Um, on the side note, we have to look at our military again and see what we need to do to build up a bigger army. And functionalism, we're about to get that. And in terms of literacy rate, we aren't exactly doing the greatest. In terms of our colony-wise, it's still the most peaceful place in our entire empire. I really am shocked about that. <laughs> I'm not even going to deny. Okay, let's increase our relationships right there. Uh, function functionalism. Alright. 
Uh, seems like there's a war going on between Prussia and Russia. What's going on here? Um, Prussia and Russia, liber uh, Russian liberation of Mezdovia. Oh, Russia, you idiots. You guys aren't gonna win that. So, yeah, Russia's being an idiot. I don't know why they would declare a war like that, but they did. And where's this cement factory that closed down? I want to see if it's really not worth the time. Yeah, it's not worth the time because there aren't any f workers there working. I mean, if there were actual workers there working, I could actually can see it worth the time. But since there are no workers working, there is nothing worth it. Okay, we got some salt mines. Let's get some military factories to help our injured troops actually get well soon. Get well soon. Let's see. We got artillery problems here. Um, calv we got some cavalry and artillery. Artillery and cavalry. So we need like, let's see. We need like five artillery there. We need about five artillery. So ten artillery. Uh, one, two. So ten artillery and like, I don't think we can build ten artillery. Yeah, I was thinking that. So we can build those two and about two hussias and there we go um we can also start building up a new army and wait until the Jacobson rebels despawn uh, yeah let's just start building up massive amounts of just militia troops that way we can I don't I don't really want to use them in battle but I just don't want to make sure we don't keep having all these like John Brown's last raid okay so that means the mecha is going to soon have its civil war Ooh, that's going to be tough. Let's go send our men over there. And, yeah. We... I think we finally stabilized our entire empire. I mean, right now... We can support... 92% education and reforms and all that. In fact, we got bureaucrats back in. That's good. We move focus. Let's go see... Administrative-wise, let's move right here. Let's get some administration bureaucrats right here. And let's see, how's that doing for our system? It's going pretty good. So yeah, we're basically increasing all of our systems. And yeah. Portugal, aw, oh, dang it! That means, that means we're not in the sphere anymore. Dang it. Okay, so increase relationship with that. We're going to have to fight over that, those guys again. Because, like, you're going to have to fight over them. And over here, we just have to deal with one little big army, and then it should be dead. Um, with the newly made militia troops, I'm just going to have them all group up in one area, and we're just going to evenly distribute them among my uh, three armies. In fact, we could probably make a fourth army, because that's what I kind of want. I kind of want a fourth army, just to be sure. Okay. And then you guys, you guys should be hunting rebels good and Romania I don't know what you guys are doing in my land but it's good to have you I guess okay um, also on the same notes uh, we're also going to start increasing our influence over Greece let's see does that really impact our relationships with Portugal yeah it does and our relationships with Bavaria but we need to start annex we need to start having those two guys underneath our boot because I think Greece is a pretty good ally I think they basically established that and couldn't stand it exactly what I told told him to do. Good job. And long live the memory of the king. Oh no, he died. <laughs> okay. And couldn't stand. Yes, you guys are definitely doing good. Iraq should form here in a second. This is a fact Iraqi land, but... Um, we're soon going to see a gigantic Iraq form. And basically, the Ottomans are dead. They've com they they've been completely destabilized. I mean, they're gone. Right, but before we do that, let's get a lavish conference and a lavish conference. And change active value. Change it. Do I want to change what we have right now? Order? Nah. Order's working for me right now. And do, 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 let's see. Do we want any kind of political reforms? Are we itching for any political reforms? Uh, no. I mean, the Jefferson method is okay, uh, so is the proportional method, but I really don't want to enact this one. I'm not gonna, I don't feel like I want to enact giving the socialists more power, especially in the later dates. If you guys haven't played this game, of course in the later dates, it becomes so hard to deal with like socialism. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. 
There are no guns. I really don't care. <laughs> I wish there was an option. I really just don't care. You guys decide amongst yourselves. Okay. If there's a god or not. Okay, so there we go. Seems like they lost another war against the uh, the uh, Greek Patriots. Who I don't know what they're trying to gain out of this wars. Like, they just keep on going. So, I'm a little bit confused about the motivations. Um, but on a good note, we have officially, and I mean officially, have everything being paid off. And we are not on high taxes right now, so this is a great moment. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.